another episode of Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is Cycle 2, Week 7 Science. For everyone else, that just means we are going to be talking about the different types of pollution in the environment. Before we do that, go ahead and head on over to doodlingthrougheducation.com. Grab your workbooks. There's new Cycle 2 workbooks, and there are four worksheets per week per video that correlate with and supplement these videos. I wanted to take a quick note and make you aware that you will notice a little bit of a difference in the format of these videos for the next four weeks from week eight to week 12. And that's because when I started making these videos three years ago, those were some of the first videos that I made. And so as time went on, things changed a little bit in the format of my videos. So I just wanted to let you know that for about four weeks, the format is a little bit different. It still has all of the information that you need, but I wanted to give you a heads up about that change. Now, without further ado, let's start doodling. What is pollution? Pollution happens when the environment is contaminated or changed by waste, chemicals, or other substances that could harm it. So first, let's talk about air pollution. Air pollution can be caused by many things, such as wildfires, volcanoes, or even chemicals that are used in factories. Most of our air pollution, though, comes from burning what is called fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are things like coal, oil, and natural gas. Factories and cars burn these fuels for power. So the burning of these fossil fuels may release particles such as ash or soot into the air. It can also release harmful gases. And this is the type of pollution that is seen over big cities and is called smog. Air pollution can be harmful to your health and can cause many different types of diseases. Next up, let's talk about water pollution. When people dump garbage or sewage into water sources like oceans, lakes, and ponds, this is water pollution. Factories or cities also sometimes release oils or poisonous chemicals into water. This is often easy to observe, but other causes of water pollution are not so easy to observe. For example, farmers who use chemicals as fertilizers to add to crops to help them grow or to kill bugs can also pollute the water. When these chemicals seep into the ground, they may make the groundwater unfit to drink. Chemicals may also drain into rivers and lakes where they can harm fish or other forms of life that live there. Now, it's important to note that these chemicals that farmers spray are very important for the food production. Next up, let's talk about land pollution. Land pollution can happen when garbage is thrown onto the ground. This is a form of pollution. Litter is not appeasing to the eye and can destroy homes of plants and animals. It also creates a buildup of dangerous chemicals in the ground. Chemicals in the ground can also come from factories and these chemicals can then spread to plants and animals and can harm people who eat those contaminated plants or animals. Next up, let's talk about noise pollution. Noise pollution can happen when things are loud in an environment. This can cause health problems for people as well as wildlife. From traffic to loud concerts, 
These inescapable sounds can cause hearing loss to people, stress, or even high blood pressure. A way that it harms animals is that noise from human activities in the ocean is harmful to whales and dolphins that depend on echolocation to navigate. Now let's talk about thermal pollution. What is thermal pollution? Well, thermal pollution is any sudden change in the temperature of water. So rivers, lakes, and oceans typically maintain a steady temperature. They can gain heat from the sunlight or warm currents or even hot springs. But when a large amount of hot or cold water gets dumped in, this can overwhelm the animals and plant life that live there. It can also alter the water chemistry, causing stress and disease and even death to fish and other creatures. Most cases of thermal pollution involve excess heat, but too much cold water can also cause problems. Next up, let's talk about radioactive pollution. Radioactive contamination is contamination of the environment with radioactive materials where these materials are not originally present. One of the main reasons that radioactive contamination is so harmful is because these substances have very long half-lives, which means that if they are presented to an environment, they are going to be there for a very long time. Nuclear power plants produce such substances and the waste from these power plants are strictly controlled by the government. But this can happen if there is an incident at a nuclear power plant and nuclear fallout happens. And this just means that nuclear particles are scattered in the environment. It is important to note that these incidences are very rare. So in all, people in general try to control pollution. Many companies and people are using fewer fossil fuels and many communities use recycling to reduce many different types of pollution. And that's all we have for today. So be sure to grab those notebooks. Again, those are at doodlingthrougheducation.com. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.